Previously on Sam Hill. Bimbet, you brought that quickie mark hussy here? Mathers hired Bimbet to bring back something from this ship. I don't know what, but it's bad. I need you to meet up with Dewey. Yes, sir, Mr. Mathers. This is gonna be so easy. <laughs> That's my brother, bitch. Are you gonna give up the job? No. Umbilicus deploy! Oh, <laughs> Well, I'm here to save your ass, I guess. You might be a little late for that. Bloody hell. Dude, where are you? We accidentally teleported right into the retinoid ship. We've reached target destination, your grace. Good! Deploy the drill immediately! <laughs> Someone is trying to control your teleport band by remote. Somebody wanted us here? Who would want that? <laughs> you can't take her back to Mathers. Get my gun back. You won't have to kill her. Baby soul. Okay. 
Did any of them follow you? Any of who? The Bay City Rollers, dumbass. I'm talking about those robots, monsters, and aliens that always seem to be following you. Do you see any killer monsters, robots, and aliens? What are you doing here? Well, I was just in town and I was wondering how my very pretty baby sister was... Okay, okay. Where's Fruity? Fruity's dead. Don't toy with me. I'm not. Uh, we were on another planet fighting ancient alien iPods and he was shot right clean in half. Fruity is dead. My twin brother is dead. Do you know what this means? Yeah, I have a pretty good idea what it means. I didn't have any idea what it meant. I've got records, records, records everywhere. I haven't sung that in a while. Not since, um... <laughs> Can't be. <sighs> Remember, if he asks you anything, answer yes or no only. Don't make conversation. Yes, no, no conversation. I think I can handle it. I think I can handle that. I must ask you to abandon this pursuit. It's well documented that pursuit of the Ark causes normally rational beings to become insane. No, oh, not this again. The Ark is real and I will have it. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. Feel bad. Are you home, honey? Hello? In bed? Honey, are you home? some loving on that great big fat chorizo you call a clitoris. She should have been here by now. I don't understand. Well, that arachnoid ship should be done drilling shortly. I, I don't know what's keeping her. Well, maybe she's running a little late. I'll give her a few minutes. As soon as she shows up with those access codes, we can hop down there to that ark and take over the world. <laughs> Bimbet, sweetie, what are you doing in here? Well, this is not very good. If you're here, then who's on the arachnoid ship with Dewey? Hi there, Mr. Matters. Well, hello there, Glory. It's nice to see you. Face the wall. Give this to your master. With these access codes, nothing will be able to stop him. Shoot me. 
You just shot me! Not really, it's my hairdresser on fire ray. Not bad. I like that. Not that I don't appreciate all this, but Bimbit was never all that interested in how I looked. Because I'm not Bimbit, stupid. Dreamy? Hello, brother. What the hell are you doing here? Is that a teleport band? Yeah, it is. Does it work? Yeah, it does. Good. Let's get out of here. Oh, right. Um, when you asked me if it worked, I should have said no. It definitely does not. Well, it, it kind of works, but not reliably. I can't believe you shot my hand. You know, not that I'm not glad to see you, but what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> In the original timeline, the Rachnoids show up to drill for the Ark, and then Mathers hires Bimbet to come aboard this ship and get the access codes for the Ark from a disgruntled drill. She is returned to him after you rescue her, then he hops down, inputs the codes, gets the Ark, destroys the Arachnoids, and takes over the entire world. <laughs> Did you get all that? Well, I was going to impersonate Bimbet, come aboard this ship, get the access codes, take those codes to a trusted friend, and then he was going to modify them slightly so that when Mathers hopped down to the Ark and then inputted them, he was going to be electrocuted instead. A friend? Well, the arachnoids think they're going to get the Ark, but their access codes are incorrect. Wait a minute, you just said the original timeline. Did somebody come back from the future? Who? Who was it? I don't know. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? This Christing mess is almost over. Can we just please get through it? Also... <sighs> I've been holding that in for a very long time. What's down there? Cupcakes? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Prisoners of the arachnoids, have you any last words? How long will you pretend to be Bimbe? Long enough to break up with you before the sex. Throw them in! <laughs> You're being tricked. By whom? Betty? No. Roger that. One. Now. I see it. I'm going in. Hey! Mm, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mathers, I didn't expect to see you here. Well, Mr. Mayor, you're looking spry. Do you have the disc? No, they didn't give it to me. Oh, come on now. You know our contact told you the only way you were going to get your legs back was to give me that disc. So let's have it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they didn't give it to me. Well, I've got a teleport band too. You let those crazy sons of bitches cut off my legs and my other stuff just as an insurance policy. Well, if you recall, we did discuss it at length after you saw those files you weren't supposed to see, and you didn't seem like you were gonna go over to my side. This was the best way to guarantee. I thought I could trust you. All the years that I've worked in your town, I looked the other way with your little misdeeds because I thought you were doing good with that mustard factory, keeping the men out of the coal mines, but you wanna get right down to it. You are just the same as the coal mines. You got black lung where your heart's supposed to be. You know, I was perfectly willing to use the Ark's amazing power to regenerate the lower half of your body. But since you betrayed me and lied, I think I like you better like this. By him. What? Oh, now do we? It doesn't matter. I've got the disc after all. What the devil is the rich white man talking about? I have no idea. And an insurance policy. Hello, son. Mama? Hello, mother. 
So, Glory, do you have anything to say to your son before I teleport the both of you into outer space? Well, just that I'm awful sorry I made you give up hunting this town's monster. Umbilicus, deploy! <laughs> Oh, the disc! My disc! The disc! <laughs> Why, you little sawed off son of a bitch! I will cut you in half, do you understand me? Come over here, boy, I'm gonna teach you. Nobody messes with a Mathers. <laughs> Was that broiled human? It was Mr. Mathers, your grace. Mathers? What would possess a rich man who owns his own town to throw it all away by coming here? Bouncy, bouncy. Ugh. Oh! Disable the drill! Hot damn boy, Son, that was a good was shot. Awfully nasty. Please don't ever do that again. Why is it that every time I get around you, I always have to smell poop or farts? Or poop and farts. Exactly as we planned, but I suppose it's okay now. Who was this friend that helped you? Oh, um, that was Fruity, actually. Fruity is dead. Hello, brother. Fruity? Uh, I don't do the mushy thing. How the hell are you standing there? I saw you shot in half last year. Right, well, enough chit chat. In order to preserve this timeline, you're going to have to use this time machine, go back to the past, rescue me from the alien planet right after I was shot. Oh. Uh, can I go home now? And then take me to our Captain Mall's most blessed sacrament universal hospital, where they specialize in regrowing, regenerating lost body parts that have been shot away. Oh, yeah, that, um, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Do. You bastard.